Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTD. I am here at Aceta today, and I get to talk with my buddy, Tyler. Today, I get to learn a bit more about welding and why we would want to go and do automation or integrate automation into our welding processes. So Tyler, please take it away. All right, so I'm standing here in front of one of our standard products, and the whole purpose of this product is to help bring new customers into automated welding. Right, and, and to try and alleviate some of the fears associated with automated welding. Most of the shops are concerned with the costs involved. Um, this, this system brings that cost down into a nice, neat package that involves um, the, the power source unit, you've got the gun set up, the robots all, all incorporated in here. Most of the programming is done, and you need to involve some of your uh, custom programming for the particular part that you're going to put on the table. But this this helps to wave some of the fears away when it comes to automated welding. So typically what you're looking for is getting rid of these mundane tasks, right? You, you have a shop full of very skilled welders and you want to use these guys for, for the difficult stuff, whether it be prototype welding or uh, complicated uh, pipe welding, sealed vessel welding, whatever it may be, you want to use their skills to the, the, the most you can, right? So the purpose of these products are to, to take some of that stuff away from these guys so you can use them in a better place. Well, you've touched on, a, touched on a lot of subjects there, but I want to try and break them down individually so we can incorporate those details into this presentation and help people really understand how Aceta can support this type of welding, right? So you first talked about being able to save money. So when I'm thinking, okay, I got to invest in, you know, a robotic welding situation, I'm thinking, oh, I got all this money up front I need to pay, right? But in the long run, the return on investment is actually quite quick. How do we go about really saving money with one of these units? So the, the biggest advantage to a unit like this is that all of the engineering is already done, right? So we have a six week lead time on these. When you give us a call and you say, hey, we have this uh, product that we want to start welding on a, on a standard system that we've seen, right? Uh, we take a look at the dimensions of it, if they're going to fit on the turntable uh, along with the tooling. We can uh, start ordering parts for it and it's about six weeks. All of a sudden you'll have it delivered to your, your place. All you need to do is drop power and air to it and uh, start programming the parts. So let me break this down into layman's terms for some people like me who are just so used to, you know, the real experts out there who, who do the welding, right? I have a, an expert doing the welding. You mentioned, let's remove the mundane tasks from them and let the experts get into that stuff that they really like, the creativity, yep. right? So I have no idea, let's say, how this system actually works. How does it really replace my welder? Does a robot come and do part loading? Does it only weld? Do I load the parts now? How does this work in terms of I'm replacing a human with the mundane, however, that, that human gets to have all the fun that he got into welding to do to begin with? True. So you still have someone loading and unloading parts, typically, on a, on a system like this. Uh, custom cells, uh, we have some options to eliminate that as well, right? But on, on this particular cell, uh, you, you would definitely have an operator loading and unloading parts. So you load a part into the front, it comes around, the, the program uses all of the points that you've taught it to start and stop the welds on. The robot itself includes options for through arc seam tracking so that it can actually judge where the weld seam needs to be. And uh, we also offer things like root pass memorization and, and multi-pass and weaving packages and, and all of the things that you would need to tr try and closely replicate, replicate a very skilled welder. I'd never thought I'd get so excited about welding. I gotta be honest, you're teaching me something great today. So this table itself is like a pallet changer, right? So you load the part here and the whole table turns and there's a True. robot on the inside of this wall here. That's correct. So uh, you would typically have your tooling mounted to this table, uh, custom tooling for your particular part, and uh, you, you come in and clamp the part in place, step out of the system. We have a light curtain in place so that the table doesn't rotate while you're inside of it. You step out of the light curtain, clear it, and, and hit start, and it's gonna rotate around while that part's welding on the inside of this system. So everything's blocked, so you're not getting hit with those nasty infrared rays, right? 
uh, your, your second set of tooling that's, which could be identical to the first set or uh, something completely different. If you want to run two different parts, that's going to come around and present itself to you. You load those parts in and uh, step out. Once you hit go, it's going to wait for that first part to be done. As soon as it's done, it, it'll rotate again. Well, you mentioned something uh, that, that can be the same part. That makes sense. I hit go, I hit go, I hit go, right? Sure. But you said I could also run a different part immediately. So how easy is this thing for someone who isn't used to you know, running a robot? How easy is it to learn and switch from program to program for different welds? Yeah, so we have an HMI, a human machine interface, included on the teach pendant. So it's, it's basically a simple touch screen, right? If you want to set side A to run part number XYZ and, and side B to run part ABC, it's very simple. It's just a drop down menu, you select whatever part number you want to run, you put the piece of tooling in you want to run and it's ready to go. I really like this type of setup. Again, I just I want to reiterate, removing the long mundane processes and allowing our experts be experts in the field, right? Because we're even finding it more and more difficult to find professional welders. Absolutely true. It's it's really difficult to find guys that uh, you know have the experience that you need to bring in the door right away, and finding those guys is usually very costly. So you want to keep the guys that you you have, and uh, you know part of welding is you you want to be excited about coming to your job every day. So it's it's fun when the boss gives you something new to work on. So you don't want to be welding those same uh, exhaust hanger brackets every day. You know. Yeah, that again makes sense to me, and I've definitely been in environments where. You know, for better or worse, a really creative welder has lost a little bit of his mojo because it's repeat work, right? And, and we, yeah. we get to remove True. that and, and bring back that love that they originally got into yep. it for. So, Tyler, when we're talking about how quickly these things can get paid off, what's the ROI for something like this? Yeah, so on a product like this, it could be as quick as one year. Typically, it's two to three years. We do have uh, five products currently in the Fast Arc line. Um, the TT, which is what I'm standing in front of, is short for turntable. Um, that's, that's one option. Uh, we've got another option with two doors. We've got an option with just a table. And uh, we have the 2HT, which is actually a robot in the middle and a trunnion on both sides. I like those options. So now you've led me into my next set of questions. I hope you guys are ready. Um, so like a pallet chain system, can I have two, three, four of these set up that just constantly rotate? Is that how that works? And as far as the robot, is it constantly going from one table to the other table if it's in the center of two pallet changers? Yep, that's exactly how that would work. If you have, if you have a 2HT set up and a, and a trunnion on both sides, uh, you can queue one side. So uh, if you have, the, the big advantage to that is you have one person operating the whole system, right? So you can have, if you're running identical parts on both sides, you can have one side welding while the uh, the operator's loading or unloading or even cleaning a part that's on the other side. Let me ask you this though, Tyler. So let's say I have this set up on both sides, which is an option, right? And they both have the rotating doors on them, right? Okay. So I'm actually able to run a part while setting up two machines. So my run time, so if I, let's say I'm a welder and I want to get creative and I'm welding my specialized parts, there's more time that this machine can run for me to focus on what I need to focus on in between job setups, the more setups I have. Yeah, absolutely. The, you definitely have a lot more time. With this focus just on the welding, you have a lot more time to focus on fitment of parts when you're putting them into the tooling. You have a lot more time to focus on cleaning those parts if let's say it's an A-class surface, it's something that's going to be visible to the customer. And you have a lot more time to inspect them. You know, if it's not very common, but sometimes you need to do die penetrate testing and things like that that require time. So if, if you have a system that's welding for you, you're able to take care of all of those things on the side and, and you don't have the additional time invested. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, my question then becomes, we know that sometimes we have a fear of change. How would I best talk to someone if we know that this is the next step that needs to be created within a, a business, but ah, I'm just so used to doing it a certain way. What kind of message would you convey to give them the confidence they need to maybe learn more or take that next step or just go all in and go for it? Yeah, the, the, the biggest thing that I've seen, uh, companies tend to be a little bit scared of bringing automated welding into their facility. One is they, they feel like 
they're they're pushing jobs out of their plant, right? And and that's just not the case. They're they're simply going to uh, move these people, these skilled welders, to a different task, right? Your goal is is to try and get the the mundane tasks, the the day to day, you know, where you're making 200 parts in a day. You know, you're trying to automate that stuff so that you can have, uh, you know, your your veteran welders go and and work on something else. So. The, the big fear I've seen um, specifically with, with welding is the training aspect of it, right? It's, it's really hard. A lot of times people will bring an automated system in, you know, 10 years ago when technology was a completely different animal. People will bring a system in like that and they, they don't invest the time it takes to train employees how to run this stuff, right? So with, with a, a product like this, that's dropped on your floor and a little bit of training on your end, you know, simple, an operator from each shift, right? You can either come, come to us and we do training classes. We even offer training included with the system if, if that's worked out. So we're able, to, we're able to get people up to speed, no problem. And in the past, that's been a big issue because you, you end up with this, you know, complicated robot system that no one understands how to operate. I think that's very fair and it's important to reiterate I think that it's not taking jobs it's just allowing more freedom for the jobs we want to do to be done you know because there is a fair uh, in a general broad open statement of robots are taking jobs but that's not the case and something like this is really beneficial to just streamlining bottlenecks in systems to allow us to get jobs done on time without having any kind of you know like lateness to the people we partner with. Absolutely, that's that's a big, uh, let's say, stigma in, in robotics. And, and welding robots have been around for a long time, right? So uh, a lot of times people are, you know, they see that automation coming in the door and they get a little nervous, but that's that's never the case. You know, we you're, you're trying to keep the skilled guys around and, and we're trying to uh, take the day-to-day the -day tasks and give them to the robot. And the, the big advantage is, is consistency and, and the robots tend to do a very good job. Speaking of consistency, and you say tend to do a very good job, what is the reliability and does tolerance matter when it comes to this type of welding? Yeah, so it, as far as accuracy of, of welds, they're much more accurate than a human being, right? You're not going to get those little little jumps in the weld, you know, when somebody changes position because their uh, leg hurts or anything like that. You know, the, the, the robot, we like to say the robot only does exactly what you tell it to do, and it does it every single time. That is a very valid point. I can honestly say the last time that I personally welded was in high school in a tech class, and I was terrible, and I did jump around, and my welds were horrible, just so you guys know. I can imagine that a robot would be much better than a person like myself. Um, I'm grateful to have the experts out there. I'm grateful to have an expert like you to teach me about new technology. If somebody wants to learn more about how this works. How can they contact you? How can they find Aceta? How can they learn more? Yeah, so uh, anybody's welcome to go onto our website and we, uh, we show all of our fast arc products on our website, right? So um, we've got a main number on there. You're welcome to call and inquire about pricing, um, anything like that. Uh, me specifically, all you have to do is ask for my name. Your direct sale number is not on the website? No, sir, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tyler, I do appreciate you educating me on welding. It's something I wanted to learn about but didn't know as much about it as I do today. So thank you so much for your time, and thank you for being a part of MTD. Guys, I hope you have learned something as well, and thank you for watching.